so powerful and so moving. Um, the two performers were so emotive. Um, I hope is the right word, but you could, you could tell what they were feeling and what they were thinking. Um, without them having to say a word. The the costumes were fantastic. Um, and I just was so curious, like what what is this world that they're living in? And, and, and how and why are they connected? And when she wakes up and they start dancing and moving together, it was just so powerful. And you can feel the, the, the strong bond between them and, the things that they're feeling. It was just, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful artistic piece. Um, this really moved me. Great job. There's something about a space covered in graffiti that always gets me. Add on the vintage sewing machine and then you know my eyes are watching. The floor was giving me Ouija board vibes, but I was unsure. But seeing the eerie, elegant, ghost-like character, it was a spooky element for me. And then I found out it was a Ouija board on the ground. This costuming is unique. I love this cut of androgynous, streetwear-esque dress. That shot after he finds another human in his space. Beautiful. When fabricating a costume, especially for the use of movement and dance, you have to think about weight, construction, what fabric are you using, movement, how are they moving. You can see why it's so important to pay attention to these little details to make the costume flow well within the piece. And this is an example of, of it. Um, overall, lovely piece. Love the cast, unique, colorful pieces, use of space, lovely, loved it. Piece that I think did a really good job balancing its music and visuals. Here, one doesn't really come across as more important uh, than the other. The costume design here was something that definitely stood out uh, for the visuals, as did the choice of location. Uh, lots of bright colors, but on kind of a subdued background and within a more subdued environment to not let them jump out too much and not distract you from uh, the two dancing subjects that are the focus of the film, but enough to add kind of a, a sense of depth and color to the piece overall. Uh, I thought the way that this was shot was really interesting too. Very, very nicely done. Uh, the camera moves around a lot here, uh, and it kind of feels like a participant in the dancing uh, with the way that it moves around and with the two uh, featured characters. So I thought that this was an interesting film and one that I uh, found myself enjoying quite a bit. Strong use of special effects there in the beginning. It was seamless. It just felt uh, just felt right. I don't know how else to explain it. It's really well done. Um, then we had some practical effects in there too. Great uh, costuming, uh, color and lighting. The way it was all edited and put together I thought was really uh, well done, just showed a really strong filmmaking sensibility. Um, all in all, it was really an impressive piece. So The choreography was very fluid and smooth, and I loved the mise-en-scene. I loved the costume, and I loved the uh, location. Um, the aesthetic felt very... I'm making up a word for it, but I'll explain it in a second. <laughs> uh, it felt a very, like overgrown urban vibe basically it's an urban environment that's overgrown with plant life and i feel like the costuming felt like that too where it's like the clothing was cut and torn but it was also giving root to new life um it, it was very interesting the actors were very beautiful. Um, the costuming was also very immaculate. Wonderful choice in um, set. Um, the background was very beautiful. And I think the abandoned building added a lot of texture. Um, it was a beautiful choice in music as well. Um, overall, everything was very beautiful. Everything worked together. 